After Effects expression controls can all be found under their own category, and if you've ever tried to use these effects without knowing exactly what they're for, you probably got really confused. Let's just start with the slider control at the bottom. If I drag it out onto my logo, I get a slider control effect with a slider set to zero, and if I increase or decrease this number, nothing happens. That's because these effects do not change anything about the layer that you are applying them to, they only generate values, and that's really useful for expressions, but completely pointless for basically everything else. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add all of these other effects to this effects list so you can see that none of them do anything to my layer, even though they all have a bunch of controls that look pretty familiar. Let's start with a point control. You can kind of think of this like a position property. If I click and drag it, we have a point on our composition that corresponds to those point values. Right under that, we have the 3D point control, which just gives us that third value for the Z position. Then we have an angle control, which is just your basic angle, exactly the same as the rotation properties control. We have a checkbox control, just nice little check mark right there. A color control that we can change to be whatever we want. Again, doesn't do anything. A layer control, which lets us see a list of the layers in our composition. The slider, which we already took a look at, as well as a drop down menu control, giving us this drop down menu that we can customize but why is any of this useful? Well, let's take a look at the color control and say I wanna add a fill effect to my logo to make it bright red. Ugh, that's so bad. <laughs> let's double click on that color value so that we can see it in our timeline and also expand the color control and I'll give myself a little bit more room here. What I can do with this color control is link the color value from that fill to the color control using this expression pick whip or the property pick whip. If I click and drag that from the color of the fill to the color of the color control, just like that, the effect is updated and that fill color is now following whatever I set my color control to. So I could change this to magenta or whatever I want and click OK. And the fill effect also has this opacity value that's basically a slider. So why don't we link that to the slider control? I'll just use that same property pick whip, scroll up to the slider value, let go and now that's linked with expressions and the opacity of that fill effect is now being driven by that slider control. Now I realize none of that seems all that useful, but once you start using expression and building rigs especially, being able to make a control layer, maybe using a null object since it doesn't render, that you link a whole lot of properties and values to allows you to basically make global controls for your entire scene. And I'm not gonna make this video super long explaining exactly how you might use every single one of these because you're pretty much gonna find out how to use those in expressions tutorials. And because you can see that all these controls work exactly like they do in effects and transform properties on a regular layer. Having them as effects just allows you to build custom controls to link other things too. Like building a global color controller where you could use that fill effect or even a tint effect linked with expressions to a master controller and then paste that filler tint effect across lots of layers throughout your entire project. If you need to update a color, you just go to that main color control and adjust it to however you want. But that's the expression controls in a nutshell. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you want to support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.